Hello, my name's Anna and I'm going to read Gum Blossom Babies by Mae Gibbs to you today. This is an original copy from 1916 given to my great aunt Kathleen by her friend Mavis, Christmas 1917. Gum Blossom Babies. Gum blossom babies are much harder to find than gum nut babies. They are more timid being girls and are generally clustered together in their homes on top of the trees. So sweet is the scent of their frocks and so like real blossoms do they look that Mr. B often makes a blunder and settles upon the hat of a startled little person. It mostly happens that nuts and blossoms see very little of one another, so when they meet they are rather shy, but very interested. When Senor Cicada gives a recital, all the blossom babies crowd in, but scarcely a nut will appear. Blossom babies, like the nuts, love all the bush folk and are even more tender-hearted. It distresses them that spiders will eat flies, so they rescue them when they can. Maybe that's why there are so many flies. They take much interest in their neighbors' affairs and love to talk. How many snakes Mrs. Kookaburra had for breakfast? How Mr. Possum was stuck up the tr wrong tree all night by a dog? How Mrs. Wagtail's nest was robbed and such gossip? In the buds, that's where the babies are found. The lids lift up, the petals quickly unfold, and the baby is tossed out into the arms of the expectant little mother. She has waited and watched, for she knows which bud holds a baby. Very little babies are fed with honey and dew, and are carefully nursed till their caps grow big. When the baby's caps grow big, then they can climb alone. If they fall, their heads being large and heavy, they go head first and their thick, soft caps protect them. Sometimes when the moon is very full, the nuts take the blossoms to some far off tree and there tell them of uncommon things and doings and the little blossoms clasp their hands and praise the nuts. When twilight deepens into dark and the last tint of sun has stolen from the distant hill, the little blossoms fold their petals about them and close their eyes in sleep. Thank you.